Welcome everybody to uh, Minecraft Bedrock Let's Play from Forever Bedrock. Today we have a ton of things going on. Let's get right into it. Uh, we have been smelting up a ton of things and obviously we have been using bamboo to fuel the uh, super smelter and it has been lagging behind. Today's first order of business is to add another layer to the bamboo farm. Once we get this out of the way here, hopefully we can keep up with the smelting that needs to be done because there has been a ton of it so let's see here we got our fifth layer in let's hope that that will keep up with all the smelting next thing we got into after that was uh, doing some interior work on the uh, path to the inside path to the 99 villager trading hall that we have over here that we've kind of nicknamed the uh, Emerald City of course, every Emerald City needs a yellow brick road, so we decided to get going on that too. But, got tired of working inside so much, decided to go outside and have a little bit of fun with some TNT. If you haven't caught uh, recent live streams, we've been doing a lot of grindy type work on the live streams. Uh, where we're taking down this, basically leveling this whole mountain that I'm on right now. Originally, this was going to be kind of a... Lunar's, Lunar Moon's castle was going to be on top of this, the original one, the original mountain. But uh, we decided she was going to go with like a kind of neo-gothic style, dark style to contrast the white diorite castle that I have. But she came up with the idea to do an insanely big Hogwarts castle design, which is looking amazing. Uh, we've been working on the design real hard and also tearing down this mountain to uh, facilitate that build you ever get that feeling when you're working something that something's watching you goats do not belong on the hogwarts grounds no goats so on a recent live stream while lunar and i were working on the mountain and some other things we each had a couple of deaths and of course that meant we needed to go end busting Get ourselves some shulkers and elytras. Let's hit a quick time lapse here and do some end busting and get those things back squared away. I don't know about you guys, but I always hate that leap of death at the end of an end busting run. Just always <laughs> makes me paranoid, but we are here back safe at the, uh, at the base. Let's go ahead and uh, go through 
our shulkers here and see what we came up with on this end bust and run the uh the main goal was to replace elytras and get some additional shulkers for all the big projects that we've got going on let's see we'll start pulling some things out here let's get my regular gear first uh let me get my rockets out looks like there's two elytras i thought i got three there might be another elytra in one of the other shulkers we'll see here Let's kind of sort this all out and get things all back in order here. Normal shovel. I'm going to probably need boots because I know at the end of the uh, end busting, my boots totally demolished on me. And uh, I'll have to actually make another pair of enchanted leather boots because uh, we have multiple snow elevators here within the diorite castle. So I'll have to get that going in a minute here. But let's see what we ended up with here. Oh yeah, and there, there we go. There's the other elytra. So we did get, I got three elytras. That way we both got a backup and another extra one. Uh, it's not a bad helmet. Not terrible. Leggings was protection four. That's pretty decent. Five diamonds. What's the other two we had? Another 20 or so. Oh, 60 total shells. Not too shabby. So that gives us 30 shulkers. Awesome. And then with the magic of video editing... Enchanted leather, leather boots have been made and let's take a little quick run down here because Also with the magic of video editing that yellow brick road. We were talking about earlier is now done This came together fairly cool. Uh, there's a little bit left to do on the design here But obviously we got the yellow terracotta running down the center and lined the whole thing with emerald blocks from the emerald city to all the trading from the villagers so kind of a cool idea we had a little bit of fun with it naming it the emerald city and all and thought we'd put the road in the path in to uh to match that and with a little bit more video editing let's uh take a quick look in rtx here this is uh actually the old original very first starter farms there but uh we made this other additional path this is kind of like we, we tried to make this one a little more dungeony castle path that also leads to the trading hall so that way we've got two ways to get there depending on what part of the base we're in uh, this one came out really cool too i think it's kind of like a dank castle -y look but then when you get down here that is amazing in rtx that really really came out well i'm really happy with that um there's just fits right in with the whole idea of it being the emerald city with the trading hall there and then uh, there's there's some additional lighting things. I want to hide some more lighting on the sides, maybe underneath the banners, uh, just to give a little bit more glare off of the polished andesite and the emerald blocks. I think it'll look really cool. Because like over here, this part of the cave we had wide open because it's it is wide open there. And then we also have the sea lanterns behind there. You get a lot more reflection off the polished andesite and the emerald blocks. Uh, really came out cool so I think if we add a little bit more down in that first part it'll be amazing and the next on the agenda today guys we did a building called forever bedrock challenges building not too long ago probably a few episodes back now but we really didn't do much with it until now we came up with uh, well the original idea is so like you could do uh, treasure hunts uh, scavenger hunts you can put all these ideas in and if anybody ever wants a challenge they just go in here and pick a challenge and do it so we came up with this challenge for the guys of forever bedrock to take part in if they dare so i'm not going to get into too much detail we'll get into that as guys start doing the challenges but yeah the caveman the warrior and the farmer and it's basically what kind of minecrafter will you be kind of a challenge so uh, hopefully the guys will uh, see this that it's done now <clears throat> and they will come on over here and take part in uh, one of the challenges and obviously share that in one of their videos. I, I think Kay and I also will. I think it would be really fun. Got our three little different pieces of paper here for each of the challenges. You hit a button, you get whatever challenge you get and that's the one you got to do. That's the idea behind it. If you guys like the episode today, please don't forget to uh, hit the like button, ring the bell, so you get notified when our videos go up, and subscribe. All of those things really do do help the channel out a lot. 
Uh, also, leave a comment. Um, comments really let Kay and I know uh, what you like and don't like about the videos or what you would like to see if you leave a comment, if there's something specific you'd like to see us do. And if you're appreciative of some folks doing Bedrock exclusive content, definitely subscribe. Check out the other Forever Bedrockers. Their links are all below. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.